Well, they got me. Check this out. So this Olympics video I just put up, the Olympics have gone full satanic, showing shocking footage from the opening ceremony of the Olympics in France just yesterday. And they blocked it. Check this out. Monetization, ineligible. Visibility, blocked. Look what it says here. This video contains copyright material. As a result, it has been blocked world wide. Gee, I wonder why they had to go and do that. You know, this is nothing less than an attack on those who are covering this and calling it what it actually is, a completely satanic ritual. Uh, this is this completely goes against copyright guidelines. I show four different parts of the opening in the Olympics, and I showed maybe 10 seconds of each, and then I pause it I don't, sh I don't play any of the sound or anything. They overstepped and blocked the video. This is censorship. And unfortunately, YouTube is, well, playing into it and allowing it to happen, of course, because, well, the agenda. You know, you can go still find some footage up, but it's being taken down everywhere. Uh, you can find screenshots and stuff like that on X. Now, I'm going to leave my original video up in its entirety, but I am going to block out the, the, the parts of the screen that show the footage, but I'm going to leave up my commentary and everything. So if you've already watched this video, would you consider just setting your phone down and letting the video play out in its entirety? Um, I understand you don't want to watch <laughs> the video again, maybe, but you know it really helps when you give this video a thumbs up when you like it because you're not agreeing with the insanity in the video, but you're helping push it out to more people. And if you allow the video to continue to play uh, in its entirety, YouTube will push it out to more people. Uh, so we need to spread awareness on this evil, satanic, demonic agenda that is spreading worldwide. And while well, the elites expose themselves during the Olympics, and I'm not gonna stay silent about it. This is by far the most shocking moment from the opening ceremony at the Olympics. In fact, look at this. In the middle of me filming and showing this clip, they just removed it to try to hide the truth from you. Howdy y'all, I'm Brylan. Now it's no secret that there is a demonically inspired agenda to create this one world system that's led by Satan. They used to want to keep that part secret, but <laughs> now they're just kind of putting it on full display. Well, it's Olympics season. Hooray, <laughs> right? Not anymore. So this whole thing with the Olympics, this opening ceremony, you know, we sat down and turned it on and well, it wasn't too long before it started that insanely just sexualized, perverted, demonic, completely just, I mean, it was evil, encapsulated. It, they, they, they are shoving it in your face now. They are not trying to hide anything. The agenda is out in the open. Now I'm going to show you several clips of the opening ceremony in France for the Olympics yesterday. I, I could sit here and literally show you the, the couple of hours long opening ceremony, but you know, they're trying to take this down. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised that as I'm filming this, some of these clips are removed because they don't want you to see this getting called out. They just want you to see it and accept it. Here's one clip. Yes, that is exactly what you think it is. This is happening on a table. And I will say later on with, with this same person in, in just a little bit, they're, I'm not going to show it but because it's absolutely disgusting, but they, they're shown dancing with children, doing this kind of thing with children. This is the Olympic opening ceremony. So you have a dwag doing a suggestive dance. You know, they know families are watching this. I mean, this is this is literally turned into an adults only like NC-17 rated program now to watch the Olympics. And again, this is not the worst of it. I can't even show you the worst of it. There was one scene I was, you know, de debating whether to show on here, but I guarantee you, if I show what they showed on TV in front of the entire world, if I showed it on my channel, YouTube wouldn't allow it. That that's 
that's how twisted this whole thing is. They can get away and do whatever they want. They can shove their agenda down your throat. But as soon as you call it out, call it what it is, and show what they showed, well, then you're violating policies and you must be removed. Here's another moment in the ceremony. This one is absolutely disgusting. Again, this is evil. It's demonically inspired. They, they want you to feel the way that you feel when you see this. They know it aggravates your soul and it makes you sick to see this. They want you to feel that way. But we have to understand that this is happening. This is going on. And if we pretend like it's not, then they will continue to take over. That's why we must continue to stand on truth and not give in to this kind of thing, not stay silent about it. But look at this. Obviously a complete and utter mockery having LGB, DWAG, all the things, the, the, the obese woman uh, as, as Christ, I guess, doing the Last Supper and they're just mocking it for the entire world to see. It's absolutely disgusting. They're obviously trying to push this, the, the, the LGB agenda. It's everywhere. They're pushing it literally everywhere. Now it's on the world stage. Every TV show. Every, every piece of entertainment, every corporation, every sport, the Disney Channel, all of kids' content. This is being pushed everywhere. Do, do you know why? Because they're trying to desensitize you. They're trying to create, again, demonically inspired one world system that you sell your soul to. Here's another part of the opening ceremony. This one's quite tame, but it just shows, again, at every turn, this entire uh, Olympic opening, uh, is th this is what it is filled with. You know, they could have had a woman doing this, but no, that's boring. Having women be women. You know, depending on the sport and the Olympics, they're allowing men to, well, you know, compete in the women's sports. Do you get it yet? They don't care about you or women or equality. None of that. The only conclusion to their madness is to open all sports to men and women. And then you'll have all of men's sports, well, dominated by men. And all of women's sports, well, dominated by men. If that ain't equality, I don't know what is. Now again, there were, I could play you dozens and dozens of shocking moments from the Olympic opening, but this is by far the most shocking moment from the opening ceremony at the Olympics. This absolutely proves their agenda. They are not hiding it anymore. In fact, it's quite a fitting end and you'll see why. Look at this, you have a rider riding on a pale horse. Gee, I wonder what they're trying to tell you. This is absolutely clear. They, they, are, they are showing you. They are telling you. They are demanding that you give in to this, that you sell your soul to this agenda. You know, as sick as this is, it's actually fitting that they have death riding a pale horse. Because that is exactly what this agenda leads to. The debasement of society and the acceptance of moral corruption will lead ultimately and only to death. In fact, look at this. In the middle of me filming and showing this clip, they just removed it to try to hide the truth from you. I want to show you this. This is in uh, Revelation chapter 6, starting in verse 7 here. It says this about the pale horse. When he opened the fourth seal... I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come! And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. And its rider's name was Death, and Hades followed him. And they were given authority over a fourth of the earth to kill with the sword, and with famine, and with pestilence, and by wild beasts of the earth. You know, God restrains his, his own wrath and the violence of humanity uh, to only take a fourth of the earth. And this is by no means a small number. This is a tragedy unlike anything that the world has ever seen. But it shows that if God removed his providential hand, the sinful nature of humanity would cause death and destruction to all. And it says that this will bring death and destruction to the earth. 
and they will kill with sword, with famine, and with pestilence. You know, death will be caused by widespread violence, by extreme food shortages. Pestilence here literally means a fatal epidemic disease. You know, in fact, if you want to see, I have an entire video right here called the AI Antichrist. No, it's not talking about how the Antichrist is AI, but how AI is being made and driven in a fashion to be Antichrist. Not the Antichrist, but Antichrist. I show you in this video, again, go watch it. I think this is an extremely important video to see what's happening and going on right before our very eyes that we are turning a blind eye to. Check out Galatians chapter 6. We do have the promise that God is in control and he will not be mocked. So no matter what happens, we, God is the winner. He wins in the end. Look at verse 7 here. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever one sows, that will he also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. But the one who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. This is so important for us to know and to realize is that we cannot give up. A lot of people like to say, well, the Bible says it's going to get really bad, so we shouldn't do anything about it. We should just give up, go hide in our houses and pretend like nothing's happening. Pretend like the world isn't burning around us. By doing that, you are going to reap what you sow by giving up. But if we continue to do good and we continue to stand on truth, it says in due season, you will reap if you do not give up. But hey, let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, join this community. I would love to hear from you regularly. And please hit that thumbs up button. You know, when you like this video, it'll get pushed out to more people and it would really help spread the truth. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.